Hello, Lee's Town. I wanted to introduce to you a wonderful opportunity for you to access things online from the Public Library, the Lexington Public Library. You will be issued a student success card. It's sort of like a library card, but instead of going to the library to check out books or do the activities at the public library, you get to do lots of things online. And I want to show you very quickly some of the few things that the Lexington Public Library Student Success Card allows you to have access to. I want to show you that you have access to thousands of online materials. One of the things that I really like about your card is that you're able to access articles and magazines. Flipster is a great resource because you get to see the magazine online on your tablet, on your phone, on your computer, and it's just like holding a magazine with the convert with the um, uh, advertisements and all the beautiful illustrations. You also have access to online ebooks and audiobooks. Now, an ebook is a book that will have text and you can read it, and sometimes it'll read it to you, but it will have the words there. An audiobook is a book that you listen to either through your speaker or your headphones. You also will have access to graphic novels, which is really odd because a lot of times when we think about ebooks, we don't really con consider graphic novels, and I know how much you all like those. You also will have access to databases so that you can do research at home or on your phone or on your tablet. You can also do that research here at school. So not only the resources that the Fayette County Schools offers, but now you have access to what the Lexington Book public library offers. You also have a chance to get free online tutoring. Now this tutoring is online and it's safe and it begins at 2 o'clock p.m. and it runs all the way to midnight. So if you're late doing a project you can access the tutor.com and a tutor will be there to help you with that difficult math problem. You also have access to a school center. So a school center is a little bit different. So if you're uh, studying for the ACT or another um, exit exam, you can have access to um, tutorials. Um, there are uh, access to elementary, middle school, high school, and even college level text. One thing I didn't realize is that you also have access to music. Who would have thought? Free music, right? So the Lexington Public Library gives you free music and free movies and television. Who needs Netflix or a cable bill, right? Now, some of you are very interested in learning a second language, whether that second language is Spanish, English, Chinese, or whatever. You can download um, information from the Mango languages and teach yourself a new language. Now, your card not only access data um, that can be found through um, the databases from the website, you also get discounts with your card. So one of the discounts you get is going to the library and they have a bookstore, a used bookstore, and you have a discount there. But what I find interesting is, is that you can take your card to Champs and buy Skate Emission and a laser tag game and you get a free miniature golf. You also will have access to Lextram. Now those details are coming up, but they're talking about offering free rides for students. Now once you get your student success card, you need to take notice of a few things. So the back is going, or the front, is going to look like this, and then the other side, the opposite side, is going to have your name, and your library card number. So that's your library card number right there. Now, if you opted out not to have your data shared, you will not receive a, a student success card. Now, if your parents find out about the student success card and they want to change their mind about uh, offering uh, your data, your FERPA data, and making uh, you uh, eligible to um, access things online, I can get you a card. 
Now let's say that you get the card and your parents are like, I don't want you going online and accessing all those free TV shows and wonderful databases and magazines and the free um, tutors. So if that happens, then you can bring your card back to me and I'll just return it and just will delete your name from the system. Now let's say that um, your name was not in the system before November and you're new to Lee's town and you did not receive a card. Then give your teacher your name and or stop by the library and give me your name and I will um, add your name to the list and get you a card. Now once you when you start wanting to use your card you'll need to know a couple of things. Your library card is your barcode number and your PIN number is the last four digits of the telephone number that is um, in your student account from the school accounts. Let's say that you don't have a phone number listed there then it'll be the last four digits of your card. Now since you know that, if you want to re, uh, reset your PIN number to, to um, a password that is easier for you to remember, you can uh, contact the public library or you can ask me and I'll be able to reset those, pin, those pins later on. Now let's say that you still have questions. You're actually going to be getting one of these uh, student success card um, flyers frequently asked questions with your card. So you can look at that and see if you can, um, need to know more information. Also online there is a brochure that students can uh, students can ask, access and also those links to the, some of the things that I mentioned today. I hope you enjoy using your card. I think it's a great opportunity for teachers and students to have access to the materials that the Lexington Public Library offers. Um, if you have any questions just stop by the library and ask. Um, hope to be hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.